Hi everyone, welcome to Faith Friday. I'm Father Sam Kachuba. Remember, Friday and Lent, no meat today. <laughs> As we go through Lent, I, I told you last week that I, I want to reflect on repent and believe in the gospel. I want to reflect on what it means to reorient our lives to the Lord and the different ways in which God is calling us to that renewal, the different ways in which the Lord is calling us to turn to Him. And that real turning, how important it is. So let's go back, though, to the beginning. Go back to Genesis. Go back to the story of the fall of Adam and Eve. Now, this story illustrates for us what happens to us when sin enters our lives. Because we see that Adam and Eve in the garden walked with God. They spoke to him face to face. They knew him, and they knew him very intimately. But then, when they listen to the serpent, when they, they choose to disobey his, his one command, when they choose to eat from the tree of which God had told them not to eat. We see that now they, they turn. Now there's this separation between them and God. They've, they've turned away. And we see it very starkly illustrated because they hide themselves, Genesis tells us. They hide themselves from God, so God comes looking for them. Where are you? And they're hiding. They're hiding because they're ashamed of their, of their sin. And that's exactly what sin does to us. It causes us to hide from God. It's a turning our backs on the Lord. We talk about it in very basic terms. We say sin separates us. It separates us. It cuts off our relationship with the Lord. Well, we want that relationship though, don't we? That's, that's part of how we're designed. We're made for a relationship with God. And so to reorient ourselves during, during Lent, this is a great reset button. This time is meant to turn us back to the Lord. It's meant to give us that that real path back. So turn away from sin. Lent is a time for us to reorient and to, instead of turning our backs on the Lord so that we can move towards sin, to turn our back on sin so that we can move back to the Lord. To turn and look to the God who cares for us and who loves us. That's what we're called to prayer during Lent. To pray intensely, that we might turn to God. And so with the, our prayer during the Lenten season, let it be a real turning to the Lord. With our fasting, this means we do without some things. We let go of stuff that we might be attached to. And in particular, we discipline our bodies with bodily fasting by abstaining from certain foods or by even entering into a time where we, we don't eat at all. That fasting is meant to teach us to rely on, on God more completely. And then our almsgiving, to give generously of ourselves. And with that generous self-gift, with that generous self-gift, to reorient our priorities, our trust. So when I give away my money or my possessions, I'm reminded to trust completely in the Lord. I'm reminded not to hoard things for myself, but rather that my life is meant to be for others. And so prayer, fasting, and almsgiving help us as we practice them to reorient our lives. This Lenten season then is that great reset button that allows us to gradually make that turn. But God is without question calling us to that turning towards him. We've been called into the upper room in this time to go into that place where we discern carefully what the Lord is inviting us to, how he's calling us to live. Lent gives us that time to repent and believe in the gospel, to turn toward the Lord with our whole hearts, with our whole minds, with our very bodies, to turn towards him, to reorient everything for his glory. God bless you.